So, it's Friday and this is hopefully the last day I've been home uh, ill of a drill. Um, I'm planning to work on Monday. It still haven't solved uh, what the police called so my father gonna watch um, drill uh, and uh, of Monday and Tuesday at least. So it's, uh, yeah, but uh, it's not much I can do about it. So that's how the situation is right now, it's just nothing I can do about it, really. Mm -hmm. My next two oldest are at a Halloween party uh, tonight. There's gonna be a Halloween party tomorrow too, and probably one at Sunday because we are free from school at uh, Monday in the next week. So it's a lot of Halloween <laughs> things right now. And, uh, well, it's fun, I guess, for people going, and not for old moms sitting home and playing with makeup and feeling old and fat and gloomy, but it's life, I guess. No, but um, I uh, still feel my... Excuse me, my throat is not okay yet. And I'm so afraid I'm gonna get ill again. I can't really deal with that. I can't stay home more and I don't want to be sick. I want to be healthy. I want to do things. I plan to go to the allotment tomorrow, which has been over a month since I... This is the last time, so I am ready to face a complete disaster. We'll see about that. Um, me and my next oldest had this conversation. We have a lot of conversation, really interesting, or according to me, interesting, but it's fun to talk about. You know, it's fun to talk to somebody uh, in that age. Do I like almost adult, but not really, or legally adult, but not really an adult. And uh, we were talking about uh, language and um, dialects. And uh, we realized, uh, I haven't thought about this before, but it um, um, pointed out to me, and they're absolutely right, that uh, here in Sweden, we don't curse much, uh, and it's not polite to do, and I don't think it's many places to polite to do, except one place, this, where I live now. And I'm not from here originally, I come from Göteborg uh, originally, and now I live in Skåne, and uh, we're two completely different dialects. And in Göteborg, you have some things like uh, it's very um, uh, common that you call unknown people sweetheart and darling and things like that. And uh, in the rest of Sweden, that would be considered if you, if, you know, if, if especially if a man um, to, uh, um, talks to a woman he doesn't know and call him darling or honey or sweetheart or something like that, um, they would probably be accused for harassment, sexual harassment, and, you know, it's like, it's not okay. <laughs> but in Rose, but in Yatvori, uh, that's perfectly normal in Gothenburg, it's called in English. It's perfectly normal. Like you said, oh, hi, sweetheart, uh, where are you going? And we ask, the bus driver asks you when you step on and buy a ticket. And it's like, that's perfectly normal. I think it's kind of sweet, but if somebody did that in every place in Sweden, I would be like, mm hmm, hmm. And here, in Skåne, you curse. You curse a lot. Even small kids does. And it's like, those curse words are the same, or most of them are the same as the rest of Sweden. And But here, it's okay to use them. All the time. It's like, uh, you don't say much or a lot or things like that without putting a curse word in it. And it's... Um, it's fascinating because you don't have to be angry or upset or anything. It's or, and it's perfectly fine. And um, I never thought about that before, but it's true. It's your little kids doing it too. It's like, um, I think that's interesting. I, 